welcome back to this new tutorial um today i'm going to teach you about um how you can use the llama index uh, project on github um it has about um 16k stars and um, 1.7k um, forks and llama index is um, a gpt index and it's a data framework for your large language model applications okay so if you visit this url uh, this github uh, repo should um, have more information about what is going on and it also has about 175 contributors across the world um, so it's written in python so as you can see um, more information about um the project and the ecosystem it's growing day by day um i'm not going to waste time it's easy to install so all you need to do is do pip install llama hyphen index um so let's jump right in and see how we can use um this project um from github and before we start you need your API key. So I'm going to create a new API key and call it Llama. Llama hyphen index. Okay. I'm going to copy that. Say done. So the next thing I'm going to create a file called Llama index um, demo. Once I do that, um, I'm going to import some few libraries. Um, I'm just going to paste that in and explain what is going on. So as you can see, um, I already have Llama index installed. Um, so there's no point. I'm just going to show you pip install llama index. And you see all the requirements are satisfied. Um, so I'm just going to import llama index, import GPT vector store index, as well as, um, simple directory reader. Okay. So. So the simple directory reader means that we have a directory where we have a um, bunch of files stored in there. And then um, we read um, those text files. So I'm just going to create a new directory here and call it llama underscore there. And then I'm going to copy these two text files and then paste paste those files in there. So one is state of the nation address and one is state of the nation union. So if you open open it, this is what you're going to see. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to close that. And then we have our open... AI API key here. I'm going to delete it just after the video. So don't try to use it. Um, the next thing we are going to do is um, we're going to say documents is equal to simple directory reader. And then this takes um, um, a directory name, which is going to be called llama there. And then we call the method load um, data, which doesn't take any parameter. Once we have the document, we can now create an index using the GPT vector store index. Okay, so index is equal to GPT vector store index, which is going to store our indices. Um, so we're going to say that, and then we say from documents, um, 
that is the function. So, and then that takes the document. Okay, so we're passing the document equals documents. Or you can even call it docs to create no confusion. So we call it docs, docs. Okay, so as we have the index, we're just going to say, um, engine is equal to index dot and then we're going to call this function as query engine okay so once we call the query engine we're just going to say print engine dot now we're going to pass in a query okay um and this query um we can create a query here so that life becomes easy. Um, we can pass in a list of query. So we can say, what did the Russian president say? And then another query we want to ask is, um, what did the um okay what did the president say about covid 19 pandemic pandemic okay that's a question so we can now say so we say queries now we can now say for query in queries we want to print this uh query okay so that's all we are doing so we you can pass in a list of queries so this russian president query is coming from this state of the union address and um this same and then the COVID-19 pandemic question might come from State of the Union. So it's a combination of both files. So um, uh, let me call it queries. Sorry, queries. Okay, so I'm going to run this and see what we get. So as you can see, there are some warnings. Um, you can ignore them for now. You can see the token in this sequence length is longer than the specified maximum sequence length for this model. Um, so we can make sure that you check the the token length and all that. But the first answer to our question is that the Russian president Vladimir Putin said he thought he could roll into Ukraine in the world would roll over okay so that is the answer you can see it's a long piece of text and then the second answer is the president said that COVID-19 has impacted every decision in our lives and then the life of the nation and that people are tired frustrated and exhausted he also said that because of the progress made people can now move forward safely back to more normal routines with severe causes, with severe cases down to a level not seen since last July. You see, so this is how we can query our our documents using the open AI as well as Llama index or GPT index. So if you like this video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.